I was totally planning on singing a song today, um, but it's in Spanish, so I think I'm going to take one more day to practice that song. But um, when I was, so I was actually, so it's called um, Estoy Bien, and it's the song um, It Is Well With My Soul, so it's like the same hymn, but it's in Spanish, and I found like three stanzas. And then the last three stanzas I couldn't find in Spanish. I could only find it in English. So I was like, all right, so I'm going to do half of it in Spanish and half of it in English. But it's just taking a lot more time than I planned. And so hopefully I'll be ready tomorrow. So anyways, it made me think of Acts 2 when um, like basically the Holy Spirit inspired people to like spoke through people that were not trained in a certain language but when they spoke everybody could hear in their own language so they weren't taught like they didn't go to classes to learn these four well they're foreign to them right but they were speaking and the, there was a mixed group of people all different languages and they were able to speak in all the different languages for where the people could understand and it reminds me of like god's heart towards us like how he speaks to us all in different ways. Um, and But he speaks to us in our own language in a way that we can understand and, and interpret. And um, I just think that's really cool. And so I was going to read Acts 2 out of the World Messianic Bible. And then hopefully I'll practice um, this song in Spanish for a little bit more time. Okay. Hopefully I'll be ready tomorrow. If not, I'll just <laughs> maybe throw in another song. But I'm going to keep practicing. I'm determined. I feel like I almost have it. So um, so I'm excited to, to, to grab onto that. So, um, so Acts 2, starting in verse 1. Now when the day of Shabbat had come, they were all with one accord in one place. Suddenly there came from the sky a sound like the rushing of a mighty wind, and it filled all the house where they were sitting. Tongues like fire appeared, and they were distributed to them. And one sat on each of them. They were filled with the Holy Spirit and began to speak in other languages as the Spirit gave them the ability to speak. So I'm totally trusting God to give me the ability to speak this. Um, so, yes. Now there were dwelling in Jerusalem Jews, devout men from every nation under the sky. When this sound was heard, the multitude came together and were bewildered because everyone heard them speaking in his own language. They were all amazed and marveled, saying to one another, Behold, aren't all these who speak Galileans? How do we hear everyone in our own native language? Parthians, Medes, El Lamites and people from Mesopotamia, Ju Judea, Cappadocia, Pontus, Asia, Phrygia, Pamphylia, Egypt, and parts of Libya around Cyrene, visitors from Rome, both Jews and proselytes, Cretans and Arabians. We hear them speaking in our own languages the mighty works of God. They were all amazed and were perplexed, saying to one another, What does this mean? And um, others mocking said they were they are filled with new wine. And what's really cool, so they're saying, oh, they're drunk. You know, they're drunk. Um, but the other funny thing is, like, Galileans were thought to be uneducated. And, like, traditionally, in the sense they were, they were educated by Jesus and the Holy Spirit, but they were uneducated by the standards of the world. So, but... Um, so Peter, standing up with the eleven, lifted up his voice and spoke out to them, You men of Judea and all you who dwell in Jerusalem, let this be known to you and listen to my words. For these aren't drunken, as you suppose, seeing it is only the third hour of the day. But this is what has been spoken through the prophet Joel. It will be in the last days, says God, that I will pour out my spirit on all flesh. Your sons and daughters will prophesy. Your young men will see visions. Your old men will dream dreams. And yes, on my servants and on my handmaidens, in those days, I will pour out my spirit and they will prophesy. I will show wonders in the sky above and signs on the earth beneath, blood and fire 
and billows of smoke. The sun will be turned into darkness and the moon into blood before the great and glorious day of the Lord comes. It will be that whoever will call on the name of the Lord will be saved. Men of Israel, hear these words. Yeshua of Nazareth, a man approved by God to you by the mighty works and wonders and signs which God did by him among you, even as you yourselves know. Him being delivered up by the determined counsel and foreknowledge of God, you have taken by the hand of lawless men, crucified and killed, whom God raised up, having freed him from the agony of death, because it was not possible that he should be held by it. For David says concerning him, I saw the Lord always before my face, for he is at my right hand, that I should not be moved. Therefore my heart was glad and my tongue rejoiced. Moreover, my flesh also will dwell in hope, because you will not leave my soul in Shiloh, neither will you allow your Holy One to see decay. You made known to me the ways of life. You will make me full of gladness with your presence. Brothers, I may tell you freely of the patriarch David, that he both died and was buried, and his tomb is with us to this day. Therefore, being a prophet, and knowing that God had sworn an oath to him, that of the fruit of his body, according to the flesh, he would raise up the Messiah to sit on his throne. He, foreseeing this, spoke about the resurrection of the Messiah, that his soul wasn't left in Shiloh, and his flesh did not see decay. This Yeshua God raised up, to which we are all witnesses, being therefore exalted by the right hand of God, and having received from the Father, the promise of the Holy Spirit. He has poured out this which you now see and hear. For David didn't ascend into the heavens, but he says himself, The Lord said to my Lord, Sit by my right hand until I make your enemies a footstool for your feet. Let all the house of Israel therefore know certainly that God has made him both Lord and Messiah, this Yeshua whom you crucified. Now when they heard this, they were cut to the heart and said to Peter and the rest of the and missionaries, brothers, what shall we do? And Peter said to them, Repent and be immersed, every one of you, in the name of Yeshua, the Messiah, for the forgiveness of sins, and you will receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. For the promise is to you and to your children and to all who are far off, even as many as the Lord our God will call to himself. With many other words he testified and extorted them, saying, Save yourselves from this crooked generation. Then those who gladly received his word were immersed. They were added that day about 3,000 souls. They continued steadfast with the emissionaries, teaching and fellowship in the breaking of bread and prayer. Fear came upon every soul, and many wonders and signs were done through the emissionaries. And all who believed were together, and had all things in common. They sold their possessions and goods and distributed them, distributed them to all according as anyone had need, day by day, continuing steadfast with one accord in the temple and breaking bread at home. They took their food with gladness and singleness of heart, praising God and having favor with all people. The Lord added to the assembly day by day those who were being saved. And so um, that's my inspiration for tomorrow is like, hey, if the Holy Spirit can cause them to speak in different languages to where it's understand it to the person that speaks that language, he could do it for me tomorrow. Because I, I do want to learn to speak fluently and sing fluently in Spanish. And um, for personal reasons, my great grandmother spoke only Spanish. And um, it was a language barrier. Um, I did learn all the bad words growing up, so I know that. I knew when the girls were talking about me in the bathroom in middle school, but um, but as far as like fluently, um, I've taken a lot of classes and stuff like that, and I can understand what people say a lot of the times, but I want to sing fluently and speak fluently in Spanish, so that's my goal. So I'm like, okay, Holy Spirit. Let's go. Let's get this. And um, so it's kind of inspiring to know that we can be taught something that God can use us, even though we haven't been, we haven't like grasped it with our own studies or strength. 